This is the winner's really finals of uh -oh. the bracket here. Change your controls. The only thing you can set is Rumble. Yeah, right. <laughs> in melee. All right. It's going to be Battlefield. Is this this is it? Let's go they're Battlefield. Fighting? No, they're button checking. Uh, All right. So yeah, you never know. Now nah, Falco would have shot some lasers. Loop, All right. Loop. Equal starting off the Captain Falcon for Stony Brook, and we've got Dio repping Falco for NYU. This matchup used to be considered so terrible for Captain Falcon back when I was like actually playing Melee, before Brawl even came out. I'm pretty sure I like every matchup is considered bad for Falcon. Well, back in the day, it was and it was really bad, and then he started pulling out some results. So, I mean, this matchup's still definitely not in Falcon's favor by any means, but I mean, it's certainly improved over time. You think a matchup's bad for Falcon, then he touches your shield once. Yeah, then he touches and he wins. anything. Yeah, he touches and he you, your shield, whatever. Can't even let him touch the ground Equal while he's recovering, a, or else you might be in danger. Equal having a real good time right there. Uh, right. I guess I should ask, is this PAL or NTSC? This is NTSC. Okay. Well, you're never really going to see PAL unless you're at Beast. You know, which, I mean, well, I guess you won't be seeing PAL anymore. We should use PAL. I, well, it Fox is, you know, the updated, it's the updated version of the game, but I don't think most people would be taking too kindly to that. Too kindly? What, that the Spacey's got nerfed? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's the game that, it's the version of the game that they're used to for the over a decade now. Yeah, I mean, it's like speedrunning Mario 64 on a Nintendo 64 instead of doing it, like, on Virtual Console. It's I just, know. that's the community. I'm just saying, just, like, there's nothing This is how they decide to balance the game, by releasing All right, John. the game again. <laughs> All right, you're right, but it's okay. All right, Yoshi's, here we go. All right, here we go. With Yoshi's In this turn. NTSC Connect. version of Super Smash Bros. And Melee, we're going to have the team's countdown. No. Oh. Yeah, we're all good. Do they really need to Two, count? One, go. Did they really need to count down? In that no, situation? no, no. I think they were asking if the streamers were ready. But of okay. course, House I'm 3000 was born ready. Ready, baby. We're always ready. Shouts the house for putting this all together for us. All right, so let's see how this goes. This is the winners' finals. We got champions over here. Stony Brook Breach champions. We'll see how NYU does. Yeah, Stony Brook looking for the title in two games today. Of course, they dominated in Smash Four, and it's looking so far like. Dio is actually given equal to business. Oh, he tried to. That's right. You can be pushed over ledges on shield here. This ain't yes. Smash Four. No, definitely not. And oh. no Texies. No meter cancel either. Straight down. Yeah, exactly. He had multiple chances to live that, and it's going to be an even fight. Equal the great equalizer. What meteor canceling? No, no. His name is equal, and oh. the stocks are equal now. Oh, okay. Come on, John. Okay. Oh, dear. All right, knee to the Yo, face. Do it again. Do it again. damage. Oof. Yo, Falcon Tech chases. Yeah, if you drop those, I mean, Falcon's Falcon effectiveness <laughs> goes significantly down, but if you land them, he is, for all wow. intents and purposes, one of the scariest characters ever to do it. I'm surprised. I thought he uh, got off the ledge way too early there. All right, she'll oh. drop up airs. She'll drop up air. Can't keep it going, though. Equal. Yo, show him those knees. Oh, we got STI. Looking for. Oh! Wow. He's just I love Falcon steamrolling. So <laughs> Absolutely no equal opportunity out here, man. Dio just oh. saying. Uh -oh. Uh, Hit. oh, we see the forward air come out. <laughs> Yo, you see that get up attack? All right. If I'm nice. Dio, Ooh. man, I'm looking for answers here. Needs to make the pressure uh -oh. on block a little bit safer. Gets a, oh, oh, one hit up first there. hit, yep. We can't tell if that's SDI or if uh, uh, Dio just missed. The reverse knee out of he shield. Oh, oh, he, he so sacrificed he the tried stock. He no, he wanted to do two knees. Right, but he actually hurt his team by not saving that stock. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to just cruise. do two knees. He wanted to be... Yeah. Listen, this is what Melee Falcon does. I Oh, I know, this man. This is even I, Melee Falcon. This is just what Falcon players do in every game. Like it, this transcends games. You have to disrespect them. You unfortunately, it. it did not pan out very well for. Uh, it did not, unfortunately, for him losing that extra stock. Basically, just you know, Listen. costing his team one Listen. extra chance. It was hype. It was. It was hype. It was. Hype. It would have been really. I hype still to support. Be like that. I still support the general idea, but the fact that you know, it's cruise. Every stock matters. Later on, you might be wishing you had that. Just saying. He was dead anyway. The Falco was dead. Yeah, so but he wants way, to make him more dead. We've got Equal hanging in there. Two stocks left. And he's going to be going up against Whole Hep, playing Ice Climbers. Don't get grabbed. Yeah, this is such a death-based matchup. With no right? bands. He's going to see everyone dying. With no bands, the Ice Climbers get to take you to FD. Yeah, Whole Hep looking for that up tilt. It's an easy setup into grab, especially on fast fallers at 0%. So I heard people were getting hype for wobbles. Is that true? I mean, they got hype for their crew. Not for the wobbling itself. The fact that their boy is the one wobbling. But Captain Falcon, 
usually favored to take this matchup. All those uh, knees and safe aerials on shield make it really difficult to get the wobble started. Perhaps, but ugh. <laughs> so easy to just land those knee confirms. Ooh. Oh, the people's elbow. Completely juiced up, full charge. We've got oh. equal looking like a star player already, man. Good. Oh. And he's just the starter for Stony Brook. Let's not forget that. They've got more killers in the back. I don't think they would field oh their best God. player first. <laughs> oh, he's not even trying to save mana. Oh, have save your girl. Okay, gets the knockdown with neutral air, but way too far of a tech roll to chase. And this should be another stock. <laughs> yes, just hops up with the knee. Just knee. Equal. Oh, oh, okay, just a simple jab into Wobble, and that should be the final stock of the game. Pending a drop here as from Mohep, but I don't choke. think it'll happen, yeah. As long as he doesn't no, 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 no. choke. It's over, it's over. Yeah, 120, 130, and on the dot. And 130. he's alive. No. Just hog. That looks like yes, a choke. Yes, there you go. Oh, yes. Yo, that looks like choke. Absolutely. Supreme. Don't mess it up. And the scariest part is that you drop any chain grab against Falcon, he could still come back and kill you real quick. Like, there's no there's no rage in this game, but I'm sure Falcon is mad right now. Uh, All right, okay, never mind. Okay. Now man, he's dead. It was looking like Equal was going to run away with that stock, man. Yeah, I he was like, if Equal openings. came back there, the whole room would have gotten hype. Yeah. Everyone just blown up on that. All right, Stony Brook, though, still looking very strong, even though their lead has essentially been reduced to it's still just the one same, stock. two stocks. Oh, oh, it's two stocks he killed him twice? Okay, sorry, Wait. I thought he killed him once. No, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. They're up by... Two socks. Right. That's what you said. I, I don't know. We'll see when we get back to the game, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm losing track, man. It's been a long day. I've been running this tournament. Now I'm here casting. I'm just staring at the uptime and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's it. definitely been a long day. We, we got here at like 11 in the morning. Oh, ran dear. Smash 4 Cruise, Melee Singles. Smash 4 Singles is concluding right now. Pretty deep into that bracket. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Shouts to CSL for. One, hiring myself and T.O. Joe to do this for you, but also providing all the resources necessary for having a collegiate league. Really glad everyone's watching. So, And also, this is John Numbers, the uh, Nintendo World runner-up. Sorry, we got to take your title away. Uh, I'm still technically a Nintendo World champion. Get out of here. Former, former champion, yeah. Washed up. <laughs> Tough life. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we've got Follow Stony me on Brook. Twitch, guys. John Numbers. <laughs> Stony Brook looking super strong. Uh, not quite as strong as they looked against Stevens, which was a complete wash, but NYU, of course, one of the other strongest schools in this entire crew battle. They defeated, they technically made an upset when they fought Hunter in semis. They were second and third seeds, uh, NYU being third, and they managed to clutch it out. So, all right, let's see. Is this a one-stock lead or a two-stock lead? It's yeah, two, it's a two-stock lead. All right, all right. I'm, how dare I question the, the math has set the, of John uh, Numbers? I guess. I have right. no math. I just guessed that. Here we go. 47 coming in for Stony Brook playing Marth. Another pretty good pick against Ice Climbers, having that sword to just keep them back. Look at all that shield push. Totally they have spaces one aerial. Exactly, yeah. They have such a oh! action, but it doesn't matter. Ow. If your opponent gives you the grab, you're going to take it. Uh-oh. All right, these fairs just chopping the Ice Climbers up. Wait, what Man, happened? He got the grab. Yeah, he dropped it. He wiggled out very quickly. Oh, very nice. Better not let it happen again. All right, and there's Nana. No attempt from Hohep to save her, but maybe confident in Sopo. Oh, here comes Marth. Yeah. <sighs> what are you doing? What are you oh, doing? he was so close. If you're Sopo, though, what are you doing against Marth? It is almost impossible. Yo, we are rolling. Is this guy playing Smash 4 right now? Oh. Or that's the uh, attempted wave dash when you hit the stick left oh, or right. Oh, oh, the shield breaker coverage, man. I wish he had that animation in uh, in the other games, but... I don't know. I'm not sure I'd feel about a huge arc move like that. That breaks shields. All right, we got 47 on the edge, but he seems content. Wow, winding up a forward smash on shield went unpunished. That was a phantom hit fair right there. All right, so much damage on both climbers right now. Okay. Yeah, 47 to quite well here. Yeah. All right, Nana's done. Yeah, this is looking like a four-stock lead for Stony Brook coming up. NYU, man, they wow. were able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hunter and even pull off the upset. But here against Stony Brook, it's looking like a totally different story. Oop, gets a sock. Let's yep. see how many Popo... That's, that's still big. Let's see how many socks Popo can get by himself. <laughs> I'm going to go with a hard one. Uh, a solid one stock. Yeah, there we go. Yes! All right, well, Hohep managed to take that stock. 
That's still a big swing. That plus the suicide stock from Equal could yeah. end up coming in clutch. You know, Equal, please. Yeah, to think that if those two stocks didn't happen, right, uh, Stony Brook would have a much more significant Four. lead. Yes, they would. They'd be up five. And, I mean, they're they're literally just looking unstoppable in, in both games. In Smash 4, it was a little different, though, because they had, a, they had you know, one the person. fourth best player in the world destroy everybody for them. That's and then, all they needed. And then even the players oh that God. managed to get through to Buzz or like didn't prompt they them so to send out to Buzz, point. they still got bodied by Aceto. Uh, yeah, the Aceto Knight. also was able to do a 13 stop. Yeah, yeah. Let's he was Aceto. able to eliminate an entire team by himself Oh, so they as just well. opened Aceto at one point? Right. Went Aceto second. Uh, and then we have in Melee a different story where it's like just all of their players are looking super solid, especially compared to the general level of competition here. I'm telling you, Stony Brook breeds champions. And runner-ups. For the four years I was there, they were also the kings of foot of the college football league. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either, but then someone told me, I was like, oh, so Stony Brook is broken at football. Good job, Football Stony and Brooke. smash. Football. Yeah, Stony Brook, so solid, just overall. Again, can't stop talking about it. First seed in both games, and they are looking like they're going to live up to the title. Oh, we got another Ice Climbers on deck. All right, this is Pico Farad. All right, here we go. How do you say your tag? All right, Pico okay, Farad. Pico Farad. All right. Oh, I just realized there's a big CRT TV sitting right there. Yes, right next to the monitor. All right. So, again, Marth versus Ice Climbers. Marth just definitely those, favored in this matchup, but it's doing, not terrible. Doing those F smashes just to separate the two climbers. Dude, it's you see how many F smashes he just threw out? It's yeah. Like, yeah, get out of here, Nana. Get out of here, Popo. Got to block those. Wave dash out of shield. Grab, punish. Uh -oh. Of course, it's a lot easier said than done. A good Marth. It's just going to be spacing so efficiently, you know, and not throwing unsafe and he's F smashes dead. either. Yeah, I Pico think, Farad. I believe Pico Farad thought she had her jump right there. Okay, she's setting up those uh -oh. alternating, uh, the desync walls of Blizzard and Ice Block, but it is no not chain. enough to stop Marth, who has a huge sword. No chain grab, solo chain grabs on Marth. You can't wait for Nana here. Almost that forward smash on Nana. That would have been certain death. With that terrible AI getting back to the stage. Oh, but nice. instead, an SD just daring off the side of the stage. And Pico Farad looking a lot better. Oh, she Gets almost got a grab, wobble. But not quite. That's right. Do any unsafe move you can as long as Nana gets back to you. That's the Ice Climber way. And she's got those wave dashes out of shield. Just saw it against that forward smash, but a slight miss. Wow. Oh. That could have been bad, too. Wow, wave that down smash right through him. Ice Climbers with the second largest wave dash in the game. Yeah, it's huge, man. That lack of traction, it hurts them badly with out of shield punishes, but it's so useful for their ground movement. Indeed. Oh, I like that, using Nana as bait, baiting Popo back, but... Using Nana as bait, grabs. you think that's ever a good idea? It can be, if they don't hit her with uh -oh. something significant enough. Oh, almost with the almost handoff into Dare. Yeah, but He's Pico Farad just not nice. quite closing it out. Wow, nice. Desync then a Blizzard. Wait, dash right back in. Uh -oh. Yeah, her desyncs are definitely solid. And that down smash back hit, of course, comes out earlier. Wow, I don't believe 47 sweet spot at the edge there. That could have been really bad. But instead, he's going to get away with that up B. Oh, my God. And now it's looking like he's cleaning That's up the second stop Nana's here. Dead. Just a couple overhead swings. Keep forward smashing. Oh, oh wow. It was like the largest grab range right, I've ever seen them have. Right into his clutches. Popo looking like Marth right there. And of course, with uh, whatchamacallit, ledge invincibility carrying over, Marth's yep. able to do ledge, ledge dash fares every time. Ledge hop fares and are invincible. Everyone's favorite. All right. It's looking like 47 just wants to stay back. Hold on to the stock. He's at 133%. He knows that, yeah, he doesn't Mine's even need there. to get grabbed. Pico Farad going to take it. All right. When this match started, uh, NYU was down three stocks. Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to save him this time. Kind of. Oh, man. It, there goes oh. Nana. And it's looking like NYU he's might like, be down four to get stocks. See, this is no good. Because 
I'm sorry. You've seen the Fire Emblem weapon triangle. Swords beat axes. Yeah, very true. The, the hammer is an axe in Fire Emblem. Indeed. Anyway. And just like that, Marth shows the power of that weapon triangle. Yeah, five stock lead now Four for stock. Stony Brook. No, five. Five, that's right. Yeah. I'm stupid. All right, 13 to 8 in favor of Stony Brook University. Again, the team to beat. That's the theme of this indeed. weekend, man, is that Stony, Stony Brook is, is on best. fire in Smash. They're looking like, you know, from what we've seen so far in this season, probably the best school overall. That's right. Yeah. Tell. Yeah. Tell. Though in, in Cali, we had a lot of teams win or uh, qualify in both games, like top four placings. Uh, I believe SJSU, San Jose State University, UC Berkeley, they both qualified in both games. I think actually San Francisco State did the same as well. So definitely some, like some solid teams overall. Indeed. I just like to interject your Falco melee. Uh, Falco Dreamland. Oh, yeah, okay. Is that? Well, it's not a good stage for Marth, which is probably the, All right. the rationale like, here, yeah, because Marth can only reach through with up tilt and aerials. He can't F smash those platforms. Right. Okay, that's okay. That's all you need to know. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, don't mess your combo. Falco's got everyone's favorite frame one get out of jail free card here. Yep, they named a tournament after him, man. Pretty good tournament. What, <laughs> Which is, by the way, where uh, I'm pretty sure they national named finals for this will be. I'm pretty sure they named it after Foxes, not Falco. And, and he's they dead? named it after both of them. Oh, and that okay. was a <laughs> blindingly fast. Yeah, good job, stock. Nation. Takes him out real quick. Yeah, here's a replay of that. Oh, look at this. Doesn't even give him a chance. It's just like, forget it. Get out of here, it's dude. Tony Brook Nation, man. Sign me up, dude. I want to get the newsletter in the mail. The newsletter. Yeah, this team is looking seriously good. All right. Now we have Stony oh, Brook's like, next stand. I was like, Dr. Link. Lobster. We got Sheik on deck. Dr. Lobster. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, he bodied Stevens by himself. Oh, yeah, this this man, the one-man army versus Stevens. And Sheik, definitely a character that I feel like has the, the mid-level of play is so check. dangerous. Yeah, the check. Melee Aseto. <laughs> melee Aseto, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's not the star player of the team, but he'll definitely get the job done. Doc yeah. Lobster? Yeah. Very well. Doc Lob. Doc Lob, yeah. Doc Lob. Yo, show him that chain. Probably won't come up, but Sheik Chain, very capable of racking up huge damage on recovering Spacey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very rarely seen, but it is definitely. It's like a, they have no way out. It, it's such a weird situation, yeah, and nobody's used to it. Nobody's ready for that. The chain? Just yeah. do it. Falcon, Ganon, and the Spaceys. It's just like, forget it. All right, here we go. And they just start immediately, obviously, because they're both on four lives. Wow, the double laser into getting grabbed. That is not safe, my guy. Here we of go, course, tech chases. Wasn't a, wasn't a ledge hop double laser, but still, Sheik able to just get right under that. Oh! oh. <laughs> perfect advancing oh, guard. Again. Advancing <laughs> guard? the marble, yeah. Yeah, you know, perfect poke block re it reflects projectiles. Wow, almost just gets, like melee almost car gets sweet spot up smash. And that's wow. it, just short Nation of the edge. Over here. This might be just what they were looking for. Dr. Lobster with the Sheik, man, doing some work. Oh, never mind, guys. I'm sorry, Dr. Lobster, an excellent, excellent Sheik play right now. Look at that, fall through up here. Yeah, some creative stuff. I love seeing the like not optimized, like not top top level of play, just because people have creative strategies that you don't see at that level that can't actually really work out. Indeed, the unexpected jank. Yeah, exactly. All right, right. We're going invincible. Gino stalling a little bit. Yo, yeah. Time him out with 98 minutes on the clock. Still had his jump, but this should be death. No. Badly mistimed. Yep, that coveted chic recovery position where you're like, all right, all oh. you gotta do is hang on the edge and punish her, reappearing to the stage, but sometimes you just mess it up. Look it's at those lasers that smash, though. There's nothing you can really do about it, because you can't just, like, air dodge safely in this game. Oh, Ooh, the dash dance to dash attack. Yo, Drops Sheik's, his guard. Yo, Sheik's dash attack, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful juggling tool in this game. Wow, jab one to up tilt. Very interesting on a spacey as well. Normally after jab one, they sink to the ground so fast, but smart by Dr. Lobster recognizing the super high percent would allow that to confirm. Oh, wow. Was that double lasers from the edge right there? Yeah, backwards, yeah. It's not safe, my guy. Oh, back though. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually like expecting a bouncing fish to happen right there. 
Or she doesn't have that in this game. <laughs> All right, just the Edgehog rolls right up. Says goodbye to your Phantasm. And oh, that's a really unfavorable angle for Sheik. Oh! Forward smash, brilliant tech though. Crouch cancel tech, the beautiful. Homsa tech. All right, got some lasers for you. But how nice. is Dr. Lobster going to recover? Very smart. Oh my god, can we talk about how those needles just did 15 damage? Yeah, it's 18 with all of them, man. It's nuts. Yo, Sheik's needles, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And they auto-cancel on landing, of course, which is how he was able to find his way out of that situation. Indeed, a beautiful move. Wow, fair to maneuverability. Jack. Oh, wow, he fell just short of that dash attack. It could have been some huge damage if we got the platform tech chase afterward. Shine back air. Another drop through up air. I'm loving this from Dr. Lobster. But still, the pace is set at four stocks in Stony Brook's advantage. Nation's going to need to just straight up take these two stocks without dropping either of his. Indeed. And he's looking like he's on the road to getting it right now. Oh. Wow. Oh. All right. Dr. Lobster doing everything he can to take this sock, but just can't seem to land anything. Dead get even one of those here. beautiful fares. Oh, there. An Comes air for an air right there. Punish the landing with a rising air of his own. Nice. Ooh! Wow. Nation. Yo, gets him with the shine there. Perfect timing. Perfect everything. Wow. Is this and man a doctor, too? He's looking absolutely surgical with Dr. that combo. Nation. I love that pickup, man. This is a pretty critical stock right here for the crew battle as a whole. Yeah, Nation looking like one of NYU's strongest players. He is the second to last to be fielded, so he needs to not only take out Dr. Lobster, but take out as really many as he can from the pull next some, guy. Yeah, pull some serious weight. Here we go, Falco. Flacco Lombrady. Careful, buddy. Oh, the second hit of up tilt coming through, and Dr. Oh, Lobster keeping it going. Oh, tries to down with down air, but yep. get up attack. Too strong. Yeah, fends him off with that. I am noticing Dr. Lobster does like his uh, down airs. It's so rewarding on Sheet hit. down air. If you're confident in your tech chases, it's definitely one of the most rewarding Oh, moves gets him with has. the fair. All right. That Dr. beautiful Lobster angle. Sending Nation home. That beautiful angle that Sheik Sphere sends you at in this game. <laughs> Got one player left on the NYU crew here. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was such a good whiff punish. No, this right here. Look this, at this too, yeah, this is nuts. He's just like, get out of here. The presence of mind to catch her falling while facing forward, like, no less. what are you doing? Oh. Oh, oh add help. Oh, add help. All right. I got to say. Not sure what that means, but they do need help. It's really weird to like watch Sheik in this game because I'm expecting bouncing fishes in situations where it would call for them. And then gotta, I'm like, gotta adapt, man. And then I'm like, Sheik doesn't have Bouncing Fish. She has turned into Zelda. <laughs> yeah. If you ever tried to play turn, this game and turn into bad character, tried to combo into that, that would be tragic. Yeah, All right, here we like go. It's like time to do fair transform into Zelda. All right, and it's the final player of NYU. NY the Yak, picking Fountain of Dreams. Excellent stage for Sheik, uh, Peach, because she can do down smashes on those platforms, nice and low. And just rack up the hits. Yeah, the stage notoriously good for Peach. I like to call it the ceiling fan when she does it. The washing machine? It's just a washing machine in general. Yeah, but when she, but gets when it on she platform, does it on FOD, yeah, I like when she that. She does it above you. That's the yeah, ceiling yeah. fan. Yeah, that's smart. Oh, that's a. Okay. Nice back. Here. I don't know. I mean, the Yak, the yak is so. their last player, so I was going to say, like. I'd just like to mention, do you hear how she forward haired a needle? That yes, was in the ground? yes. They stick around and you can interact with them. It's hilarious. Doesn't happen all that often, but definitely it's funny when once it in a while for sure. It's funny when it does. All right, yeah, throwing you these gotta down pull that smashes weight. out. Yeah, I feel like Doctor Lobster is clearly aware wow. of this game. Oh, oh, well, nice. Not aware of the wall in front of his face. Um. Okay. Good job, Yak. <laughs> Two people, eight stocks to go. Think you can make it? Yeah, it's a three to eight deficit here for NYU. Stony Brook still just looking ever so and solid. Now we got sitting down. That guy looks familiar. Venti. 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 All right. Yeah, I oh ordered him God. at Starbucks the other day. All right, here we go. I got to say hi to Venti. Now, I know him. He plays Falco if he hasn't changed. Nope, he plays Fox oh. now. Smart pick. Okay, years ago he used to play Falco. Yeah, well, I mean. I played it. Fox versus any character, generally a favorable matchup. And this matchup in specific on yeah. this stage. Yep. 
Peach is like gonna die at like 50 from getting grabbed. You better yeah, be careful. That ceiling is nice and low. Up smash will kill at some pretty devastating percent. Oh, here we go, multi percent. Now, Venti, but, I'll tell you, a very strong player. He knows what he's doing. Definitely did not like those wave dash angles, though. They're pretty sticky. However, I only know his Falco. I've never seen his Fox before. Yeah, it kind of looks like a secondary Fox just from the way he's moving. Just kind of like trying to get comfortable in his own skin. But now Up. that he's hit the, he's hit his stride, he's going to keep going. I'm so glad that's not a thing in future Smash games. Soft throw up air. Could you imagine? Plenty of other characters have it. I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Straw Hop Lasers just trying to stay away. Even though there's really no reason to preserve stocks here, right? They're up by six in total here. Indeed, you could just go crazy. Do some style. It's about to be the closer. Right again. Oh, up to the but not a kill, surprisingly. Pokemon so the stage has a low ceiling, right? Yeah, it does. Landing up here. All right, Venti looking real solid right now. And running away. Yo, is he about to run the clock out? Yo, let's go no, Venti. There's, there's no way that we're about to sit here for an wow. hour and a half. The Yak trying to pull up a good item, but Venti just immediately running over there saying, no, you can't have an item. The Yak is throwing out a lot, a lot, a lot of down smashes right now. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent work to Venti. All right, well. Getting a solid three stock. Cleaning it up for Stony Brook. And that Stony was... Brook takes it with eight stocks. Yeah, they're, they're on a tear, man. Very nice. Very handsome. All right, John, I'm going to try like to us. get someone else to fill in for us here. I got to hop off, All handle right. some stuff. But I'm sad yeah. now. All right, shout out to House of 3000 again. We'll be back.